Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we're gonna do a quick, well, it's not quick, cause it's kind of a lot, but it's a haul from Nespresso site. I placed, I, I just wanted to try new pods and Isla Jero was back too, so I placed an order. So I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I got. And at the end, I'm gonna try, let me see. Yeah, at the end, I'm gonna try a quick little recipe because it is 3.42 and mama needs coffee. So let's get started. All right, so here's the box, and that's a lot of boxes. <laughs> so the first one is this one. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this one to be back. This is Ice Legero. They do have like new packaging. And I actually don't have any like older pots to compare it to, but according to them, they have a new look. The box does look different. I think the box used to be like mostly blue. To me, it looks the same. They might have made just this a little bit more like triangular, I don't know. I actually got two boxes of these. I was gonna go crazy and order more, but honestly, I do, there's other pots that I like over ice, not just this one. That should be another video, right? But, um, so I just got two boxes. But if you're new to Nespresso, Ice Legero is a double espresso ice pod. I don't know the science behind it. They say that it's designed to brew specifically over ice, but a few of you guys have asked me does it brew cold? No, like it, the coffee still comes out hot, but I think they make it just so that it doesn't lose its flavor or it doesn't taste watered down. A few of you guys think it does taste watered down. I think as long as you add the appropriate amount of milk, like if you don't add too much milk to your recipe, then it should taste good. Like it, to me, it tastes good. But also keep in mind that um, Ice Legero is a light and fruity pot so it's not gonna be too strong like a double espresso chiaro that one is a little bit stronger <laughs> than this one so just keep that in mind it's a light tasting pot if you want something stronger then i think honestly you would like the eyes forte that one is supposed to be a stronger tasting coffee but that's more like coffee this is espresso the next coffee that i got is new to me i've never tried this one this one is el vasio this is how the box looks and it's like in a really cute purple, almost kind of matches my my top. And this is a coffee, like coffee pod. So it's a like the bigger coffee size brew. And this is the pod. Nice. It's a lightly roasted blend of South American Arabicas that have a fragrant fruitiness. With its juicy acidity and light body, this pod bursts with life. So it's supposed to be a light blend with fruitiness and a light body sounds good i like i like usually i like light medium but you know what i've been i've been enjoying something stronger lately i don't know what's happening but this one the intensity is a four it's a fruity pod i've heard good things about it so i'm actually excited to try this one next up that i got is this one this one is bianco forte i have a few friends that enjoy this one and this one again is a size like a coffee mug size pod so it's gonna brew a lot about seven ounces a little bit over seven ounces it's a little bit stronger so this one the intensity they don't say the intensity with these like bianco leggero Bianco Forte, they don't really say the intensity because these are made to make these are meant to be made with milk. I don't know what the reason behind that, but it's supposed to be a little bit stronger than Bianco Leggero. But Bianco Leggero is an espresso, so there's a difference again. This one is a coffee pot, so it's kind of like the more Keurig style drip coffee, but it's made for milk, so that's I usually put milk on everything. And then this is how the pot looks like so it just looks like a bigger version of the bianco leggero because it's humongous and it just has more brown but yeah this one is bianco forte have you guys tried this one do you guys like it because again i don't remember ever trying this one but i do have friends that like it so let me know and if you guys have tried it how do you guys drink it next one this one i actually like and i'm surprised that i do because it's okay let me just tell you the name this one is altizio it's a uh an espresso pod and so you could brew it once and just add your milk and it'll be like a tall um, coffee or you can do two shots of it. But this is the pod. It's a purple pod just like this. And this one is the reason why I'm surprised that I like it. It's a level intensity nine, but it has like chocolatey notes. And I think that's why I like it. I'm going to look it up on the website because sometimes like they're what it says on the box is not different, but. 
the website just gives a little bit more description. Altisio is a level nine, an espresso pod, full bodied and creamy. I think that's why I like it because it's a creamy espresso shot. Um, and it has the aromatic notes of cocoa and it's roasted. So despite the fact that the intensity is pretty intense, the notes and the the profile, I think it's it's um, it makes it a good pot. Creamy, cocoa, roasted, all good things. And I remember somebody in the comment section, like I don't know what video, but they, they told me that that one would really pair well with um, chocolate syrup or mocha sauce, things like that because of the cocoa notes. And I think I tried it like that once and I enjoyed it, but that was from like a sample pot that I had. So that's why I, so that's why I ordered it again because I wanted to have it on hand. Okay, next, I'm not gonna touch too much on this one because I actually just made a review on this one. I'll link the video up above for you guys if you guys wanna see it. This one is um, La Cumplida Refinada. It's a double espresso shot or a double espresso pod and it's so good. It has cherry pomegranate notes. It pairs well with chocolate syrup. That's how I tried it. And it's just really, really good. I've tried it hot, I've tried it iced, and I like it both ways. I prefer it iced, just because I like most of my double espresso pods iced, but this is another good one. If you're not into Ice Ligero, maybe try this one. It's a little bit stronger, a little bit more flavorful. Um, and try it out with the chocolate sauce or chocolate syrup. I think you'll really, really enjoy it. Um, here, I'll... Oh, I shouldn't have opened it because I have other pods. Here's one. This is how the pod looks like. Super cute. I stocked up on one of my favorites. This is the double espresso chiaro. Chiaro, whatever, however you say it. Um, this is a really good pod all around. Like you can, you can try this one with a lot of recipes. And you know what? Somebody actually just suggested that this one pairs well with the brown sugar shake and espresso from starbucks like their recipe if you don't have the starbucks pads you can try this one from nespresso's and they said it tastes really good i'm actually really anxious to try that one this is probably what i might do today still still not sure but um yeah double espresso chiaro the next one that i got is a rondio this is a grand longo pod i i love this one this one pairs well with just about any syrup. I think the notes, like, let me, let me see what the site says. So the Grand Lungo is gonna give you about like 5.7 ounces. And it's a level intensity six. The aromatic profile has cereal and mild. The aromatic notes are cereal and caramel. So this one, I think like because of that, I feel like it pairs pretty much with anything i feel like anything that has like cereal or um mildness i feel like i pair it with anything and i like it i'll brew it i'll add a little bit of um, almond milk i feel like i always add about a half cup of almond milk to pretty much all my drinks regardless of whether the pot is big or small or whatever if you guys have tried this one how do you guys make it and if you guys haven't and like medium roast coffee, I think you guys will really like these. I feel like people tend to forget about the longos because they're like neither here nor there, but I feel like it's a good amount of coffee. It's a slightly stronger than your cup of, like those huge cups of coffee. Um, and Arondio is a good one to start with. So um, if you're interested in the longos, that's a, pretty one. that's a pretty good one. All right, I also got this one. I don't think I've ever shown you guys this one on camera. This is the Nespresso's Half Caf or Half Caffeinado. And it's a level intensity five and it's a coffee mug size. I don't know their notes. I've actually never even like looked into. So let me just read what they, how they describe it. Ooh, that's why, that's why it's good. So their aromatic profile is sweet and velvety and then malted and cereal notes. But this one is really nice and it is very, very smooth and creamy when you actually like brew it i i do like it i feel like this one i've only tried it with the caramel syrup and it's always really good and i get half calf because my husband doesn't really like he rather have like the least amount of coffee as possible so he's tried the half calf and he actually likes it and i make it with him like i make it for him usually with the caramel syrup and he likes it so but usually if i'm like towards the evening if i just need a one more cup of coffee I usually do either like their decaf or their half calf and I'm pretty much okay. Like I'm not jittery or 
like hardwired but their half cap is a really good option so this is the last sleeve that i got this one is double espresso squirrel i've never tried this one i'm like talking like non-stop about double espresso shiaro but i've never tried this one and this one is only a level eight i think double espresso shiaro is a level six yes this one's a level eight so it's not that much stronger but i just wanted to taste to see what you know like how how much like what difference there are between both of them um i haven't really i don't really hear people talking about that one or this one either so i was just really curious let me see what the website describes it as Bravo espresso shiro is dense and wild this one is supposed to be dark and bold intense roasted cocoa so that sounds delicious maybe this could be um like a you know like right now that chocolate fudge is discontinued not discontinued it's out of stock they'll usually say like find similar coffee that one i think sounds like it'd be similar to that one because of the cocoa notes over ice i don't see it losing its flavor too much because it's a stronger like intensity in coffee so that one might be a good option also for um over iced coffee and it's a double espresso so you only need one pod which is awesome and then last but not least they usually send you like samples when you buy from them and this one is the one that i chose this one is melozio and volteso i think i've tried both and they're both supposed to be kind of like a medium blend or a medium roast it says melozio is a brazilian bourbon and central american arabica creates smooth and balanced coffee milk opens up sweeter sides Volteso is balanced and round with biscuity notes thanks to South American Arabicas add a new dimension with milk. Melozio is actually one of them one of the ones that I included in my like best pods because it's just it's like not too strong and not too weak and it, it lends itself to be tried with like so many different like flavors in my opinion. So yeah. But Volteso has it's been a while since I've tried Volteso, so I'm actually really excited to try it again and yeah that is all i got now i'm wondering what pod am i gonna brew i'm gonna do this one just because it's almost four o'clock and i haven't had coffee since the morning and this one's just gonna be a nice big cup of coffee and it's cold outside so i'm gonna try this one i'll probably pair it with like the usual caramel syrup just because i feel like that'll be a good judgment of what it tastes like but yeah let's brew this one So here's my big old cup of coffee. That's strong. It almost tastes like I'm drinking black coffee without milk. I mean, I can get used to it, but it's not my favorite. And I'm sure I'll finish it, but not my favorite. <laughs> See, Bianco Leggero is like within the same family as Bianco Forte, but Bianco Leggero is like so smooth and creamy. This one is like, it kind of hits you strong. So hey, if you like strong coffee, Bianco Forte might be, might be a good one for you. I am going to try to do a review on the Double Espresso Scuro and then I'll do for sure a test 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 taste test review on the el vasio so those will be in future videos and i think my next video after this one is going to be me descaling my machine because it's for sure time to descale it and so yeah stay tuned for that but other than that this is it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye